Suppose five people are in a room. What is the probability that there is at least one shared birthday among these five people? Well, if you remember before in the previous example, we talked about finding at least one. The opposite of that is that no one shares a birthday and that becomes actually easier to calculate. So the probability that we have at least one out of these five is equal to the probability of one minus, or one minus probability of none, okay? So if we write that out, one minus the probability that no one shares a birthday, and we follow the form earlier, there are 365 days in a year. The first person out of the five can have any birthday they want, 365. Then the next person, 365 total days, they're choosing a birthday that's not the same as the first one. So there's 364 days left to choose from. And we have to do this five times. 365 over 363. That's three people have picked now. 362 out of 365. Four people have picked. And lastly, 361 over 365. So now we can multiply this all out. And I'll save you the math there, but one minus this multiplied out comes out to be approximately 0 0.0271. But we also can write this a little more compactly, actually. So we have one minus, there's 365 days, and we're choosing five of them, right? 365. And this is a permutation because our order matters here, right? First person picks a day, then we can't choose that one, right? Uh, 365 out of five over the total number of days is 365 times itself five times, 365 to the fifth power. And again, that does simplify to be 0 0.0271. But this way, it makes it a little easier, especially you start getting to larger amounts of people in a room to make that calculation without multiplying this whole thing out. Well, I hope you learned something here on the birthday problem with five people in a room. And as always, thanks for watching.